Good morning, everybody. What is up? Welcome back to the vlog. Yet another daily vlog for you guys. It is Wednesday morning. I'm drinking some matcha green tea, actually. I never really actually bring the cup into the car, but it was one of those situations I had to go, and it was really good. It really does give you some more natural energy. I feel like, like I'm not shaky, you know? I'm headed to go pick up Caitlin, one of my best friends ever. She is finally home from college, and we are driving together to go to spin. Woo woo. That's why I'm in workout attire. This sports bra is from Aloe Yoga, by the way. I feel like I'm gonna get questions. But yeah, we're gonna go spin together, and then my friend Reagan's also coming to spin she goes to Auburn Caitlin goes to UVA and then we're going to breakfast with the two of them and then my friend Sophia who goes to Arizona who is also in town so it's gonna be a really great morning I think we're gonna go to spin and then buddy brew coffee if you guys live in Tampa or know anything about buddy brew it's such good coffee and they have really good breakfast and it's just like a really cool vibe and I've missed it I haven't been since I've been back so it's gonna be a good morning and then I really don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day so I think this vlog is just gonna find itself. I feel like I'll end up at the mall somehow, but we'll see. Updates to come. Hi, Katie! Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so wow. Our know, outfits look good too. Together. They look very like Charlie's Angels, like black and black. Charlie's Angels, no, we're not that. <laughs> we just got here. We're here early because we're just rising stars. Yeah. I live pretty close. So it was <laughs> she lives so close. I'm so offended. <laughs> By like, the time she picked me up, we were here. I'm so. like, wow. I you, I was like, Caitlin, you have no excuse to be here like twice a day. I'm like, <laughs> I know. We should do one of the cycle yoga classes too. They're, those are good. Anyone? <laughs> I'm hype. Yeah. Let's get it. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> we did it, guys. Woo. Let's get it. I gotta stop saying let's get it. I always say that. Let's get the spread. Let's ladies. get the spread. No, time for coffee, actually. Hi, Sophia. <laughs> Phone eats first. All right, we just had an amazing Buddy Brew ketchup. They hate me right now. I just gotta walk. <laughs> and now we're going to the next best spot in Tampa, Hyde Park. There's like a ton of new stores there and stuff. We just wanna like walk around, do something outside because it's so nice out. Is that Hello. A new road? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yay. Well, there's new stuff over here. This is the Soul Cycle's gonna be over here. Wow, it's kind of like ghost town. Guys, we're going to where the new soul cycle is going to be. The doors are open. We're cre Take creep on it. Peek. I'm so I'm fangirling. There it is. is. Oh Guys, this is so hype. We can't wait to ride with you. I can't wait either. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so not. That doesn't look ready. That is so not ready. Guys, this is so cool. This is gonna be called the Hyde House, and it's like a co-work space, like Soho House or like the Wing. This is so cool. Hyde Park is about to be so cool. The store is so cute. I'm obsessed. All right, I just dropped off Caitlin and Reagan. We had just such a good afternoon. My blowout lasted from my haircut yesterday. Oh yeah, I didn't address this. I got a haircut yesterday. I cut off like at least an inch I'd like to say. Like I, I just told my girl, I was like, please just make it healthy. Like it is just not good. And then I'm going back in like two weeks to get it like recolored and everything. Um, cause I'm just like that. So now it's like two o'clock and I'm hungry again. And this always happens to me when I do spin in the morning, it makes me so hungry the rest of the day. Cause you burn so many calories and your metabolism is just going. So where am I? Fresh kitchen again. Cause I'm like, I want to be healthy and they're just, it's just a good place and it's just a good vibe. So I just dropped Caitlin off. I'm going to get some fresh kitchen, eat it here. I love just eating alone sometimes. It's so nice. And then I get a green juice and then drive back and meet up with my mom and I think we're gonna get our nails done. So The sun is out. I just got back. I think I'm gonna go lay out by the pool for literally 30 minutes and then just jump in, swim, and shower because it's just so nice out and I'm trying to work on that base tan, you know? But I'm wearing a hat because no more sun to the face. Look like a really extra mom right now and the landscaper's out back, so. I decided to come upstairs, so this works. Skin some gingerberry, yummy stuff. Look how cute she 
is. She's headed to dinner. Work at sister. I love the outfit. Have fun. Back in from the pool, I'd like to say I got some color, which is good. I put on sunscreen, don't worry, I look kind of red in here. I really hope I'm not, it doesn't, I don't look this red in person, but I just brought out some chips and salsa, having a little snack, gonna watch some YouTube videos and just be mindless. It's such a, it's such a good day. Drinking some matcha green tea, I'm really starting to like this. It looks, le it was green when I first brewed it, but I put a little milk in it because it's kind of strong without it. Cozy vibes, I just did some house chores that my mom asked me to do. And yeah, we're chilling. I really like my white nails. So I had to come back outside because it's so nice. And I think my dad is here because he was helping my mom out with something. And we have this really cool light at the end of the dock. It's called like a, I don't know, a green light. And it you can like see fish. Is it on? Dad, I, I think you're due to say something. Oh, I can't see. It's too windy. You can't see the fish. Oh, darn. He just turned it on. But look how beautiful the sky is right now. Well, that was a fail, but I'll show you guys in another vlog soon. So you like these gazebo lights? I do love these gazebo lights. You wouldn't have liked them. They're so pretty. They're so bright. I just bought another hammock to go there, too. I just bought some really cute bathing suits on Forever 21. Right now they're doing a buy one get one 50% off. So I got like, I just, I don't like spending a lot of money on bathing suits for some reason. Cause they just get like ruined. And I like, I like buying a few nice bathing suits, but just like fun ones. So these are the ones I got and I got these really cool pants. I just think they're gonna look really cool. So I feel like today's vlog isn't gonna be super long just cause I was with my friends a lot and I did do a lot today, but I don't think I vlogged a lot of it and why not answer some questions? So I tweeted out and I asked you guys to send me questions just to answer at the end of this vlog. I like when people do that when the vlogs aren't that long. They just do like a little Q&A at the end. It's just like kind of a fun like, oh hey, let's like chat, like a little update because you guys are watching this the night after I filmed this. I love how like, I don't know, fat, like I feel like this is like pretty real because it's like you guys are watching this the day, but we get it, Danielle daily uploads okay this weekend's probably gonna get a little fishy because i'm about to get kind of busy and then next week my friends are coming so anyways but we're still on the grind we are still on the grind grace mcguire asks she's awesome she's always tweeting me she says what is your favorite song right now i am so into country music right now like i really like beautiful crazy uh georgia time i still love that song uh knee deep i love a lot of those country songs as for like I've been listening to a lot of like random SoundCloud remixes right now too. Something you want to accomplish by the end of the summer. I think I just want to really feel good about myself fitness wise and health wise. Um, I really think after the summer, I just like, I even just feel better just like being in the sun, getting vitamin D, working out, just being with my friends. I just want to feel good. And I know I've been saying that a lot, but I just, that's just my main goal. And so that's just something I really want to accomplish by the end of summer. Just feeling good in my own skin and just being happy and just ready to go back to school. But as for like something like talent wise, um, I really want to get back into playing piano. Not like anything crazy, but um, I played piano like my whole life up until high school. And it's really fun to sit down and just play music. So I kind of want to get back into it and just kind of just learn how to play a few more songs. Like I know how to play Someone Like You by Adele, Radioactive by Imagine Dragons, uh, Stay by Rihanna. Just like a couple songs and I love sitting down and like playing them. So I just kind of maybe want to get like a couple more songs under my belt. Nothing crazy. A lot of you guys are asking my opinion on this mobile shopping app that I previously worked with. There's a lot online about them right now and I don't really want to comment on it too much but I did personally stop working with them pretty much right after I went to Coachella with them in 2018 so last year. Um, there were just things that I didn't agree with. I haven't really said this before, but there were just things I didn't agree with. I just had a weird feeling about it all. I didn't like how I had to get a certain amount of followers to go on the Fiji trip. I told them that. I said, I'm not going to try. I will promote the app because I love it, but I'm not going to try. And they were like, okay. And I just, you know, that was that. Anyways, for about a year now, I've kind of disaffiliated myself from the company. So that's all I have to say about that, but... 
Are you excited for Greece? Yes, dude. Literally, Brooke and I are about to have too much fun. Me and Brooke Michio are going to Greece together for 10 days. Like, what can go right? What can go wrong? I mean, we are so funny together. Like, she's more of the funny one. If you guys don't know who Brooke is, we have a podcast together, Gals on the Go. We just had a new episode go up today. You guys should totally listen to it. It's people really really enjoy it. We just talk about random topics this week We did like a, a you know, we always do like a life update in the beginning We talk about our highlights and lowlights and our current favorite of like highlights and lowlights of the week like a like You know pros and cons whatever and then we do like a subject for like a topic So this week's topic was how to be productive in the summer um, And we're actually able to record via Skype now and it sounds amazing There's like a little delay every now and then but it's not bad and I'm so happy that it's working now that we live in different states. So anyways, we're going to Greece together. We're doing, we're going with EF Ultimate Break. We're going on a 10 day island, like Greek islands trip. And I'm just, I'm, we're, we're starting in Athens, Greece, which would be fun. Cause like Athens, Georgia, Athens, Greece. I know I always say that, but it's going to be cool. And then we're doing Mykonos, Paros, Santorini. And I think one more island, but I'm excited. Greek Greece has been on my bucket list for a very long time. I'm so excited, so thankful. Brooke and I are flying there together. I'm flying to New York so we can take the same flight to Athens together. And there's just gonna be so many vlogs and so many funny stories. And I can't wait to meet the people on the trip. It's just gonna be a good time. Highlight and low light of sophomore year. Um, my low light for sophomore year, I think in the beginning of sophomore year, I was still trying to figure out everything. I was continuing to change my major, I was changing different classes, I was really having trouble in stat class, and it was just like a lot of craziness, and I wasn't really feeling myself again. This always happens in the fall for like a couple weeks, and then I get out of it, but I think it's just after summer you naturally get in this funk, because you're like, oh, summer's great, and then you come back, and it's like an adjustment again, and I, it was my first few months living alone. Oh. Honestly, though? Living alone was not a problem. Like I'm living with a roommate this year, but I really enjoyed living alone and I would do it again. I felt lonely every now and then. And if I did, I would just drive to someone's house and like go hang out with them. That's the thing about living alone in a college town. I mean, people were always over. I was always at people's houses or like apartments or sorority house, whatever. So yeah, that was probably the low light, just like adjusting to everything. And a low light was not living with my hallmates anymore because my hallmates were like, we were like a family. So I didn't get to like see them as much, but this semester we did a much better job of like actually all hanging out more. Um, this semester, my spring semester of sophomore year, I really just loved UGA and everything about it. And I really got my grounds. I, I have a guy friend group now, which is so exciting. I have like the, I have like a like set girlfriend group, but like I have so many other friends, but like, you know, like I have a I have a group chat like of girls that I can like trust and talk to and you know it just takes a while and that's the thing with college I like totally wasn't thinking oh like going from senior year having the best friend group to just right freshman year of college having it that's just not how it works you have to get to know people see who you vibe with everything like that so I think just finally having all my ducks in a row a lot of people are asking for like motivation to start working out and the only thing I can really think of and something that gets me going I'm posting a video this Saturday or Sunday about how I'm trying to be healthy this summer, ways I'm staying fit. And you guys should really watch that because I talk about motivation, but it obviously hasn't come out yet. Basically what I said in that video is have the mindset, like let's say you're on summer break, of like getting fit over the summer and then going back to school in the fall and just feeling good about yourself and just feeling confident and like being so proud of yourself. It's also all about mentality and something for me, I think that is really hard to start working out is don't just go to the gym. I used to try and do that all the time. Like, oh, I'm going to go work out. So I'd like get a gym membership and like go run on the treadmill for 10 minutes and walk around aimlessly and then feel awkward because I don't know what machines to use. Go to a workout class. Seriously. I know it's not for everyone. And then people get nervous that other people are watching them. But that's the same with the gym. And the gym's worse because everyone's doing different things. I really suggest like a spin class is a great way to start. I like spin a lot because the lights are off a lot of the time. So it's really like, yes, you're in a group of people and you get motivated by the people around you. But you really are focused on yourself. And no one's looking at you. Everyone's focused on themselves because the lights are off. It's a good vibe. Anything workout class, I think, is a great way to get started. Because then you sign up for the class and you have to go. Can you do a bachelorette bracket? Side note, can we compare? <laughs> yes, okay. I'm not going to do like a whole full-on bracket. But I am watching The Bachelorette this season. And I'll tell you guys who my favorite people are. I really like Luke. I know he's controversial. When he first came out of the limo and did that whole beast thing, I was like, oh, he is so full of himself. No. But then... 
he was just so sweet and he was the one that like went out and comforted her when she was crying like i was waiting for one of the guys to do it however he did not give her his jacket which was annoying so she literally said she was cold twice and it's such a chivalrous thing to do um also in gals on the go we do a bachelorette recap at the end of every episode now so just another plug it's available on itunes and spotify gals on the go anyways i do really like luke i think he's gonna go really far he could win I also really like um, the pilot that stayed. I feel bad. I think both pilots should have stayed. Um, who else? Oh, I really, really like Garrett. I think he's so cute. And I think it's awesome that he's from Birmingham and like Alabama vibes. Like, I don't know. And he was the first one to come out of the limo and that's usually saying something. I don't know. I think she's got a good group of guys. Some of them, I just don't think she's going to vibe with very well. But yeah. All right. I think that Q&A will bring this video to a good... You know, oh my god, it's 13 minutes. Well, now the vlog's really long. Good. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's about 10.45. I think I'm going to try and go to bed early tonight. My friends and I are going to the beach tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that. I think I actually did get some color today. I think I definitely did. And my peeling is going down. It's I'm, I've been exfoliating. Um, but yeah, I think tomorrow's video, I'm going to do like a what's in my beach bag. And maybe get a couple clips at the beach, but I just kind of enjoy time with my friends. So I think I'm going to do like show you guys getting ready for the beach and everything like that. So I hope you guys like that and stay tuned for that. But yeah, subscribe if you guys are new here. My hair is so short. I can't get over it. But yeah, love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow for my next video. Bye.